Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to another Late Night Live sale. I'm sorry. I am so late. I just got everything inside the house. I got so many things. I overbought. So, please buy stuff. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I forgot about Loewe again. Uh, I bought too many bags, but I got some goodies for you guys. Um, so... I am very excited. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm just getting everything situated for the sale. Um, dun, dun, dun. Okay. What is the date today? All right, how is everyone doing tonight? Hope you guys all had a good Saturday. Uh, I I had a pretty good shopping day. I think I found so many great things. Um, that's what happens when you're like, ooh, hopefully I don't find too many things. I don't like spend too much, but it always happens like when you don't want to find any things, when you find a lot of really good stuff. But I'm not mad at it because that means I found some pretty cool stuff for you guys that I hope you guys like. Um, there is a, there's, uh, some really great coach. I have Tori Birch. Um, I don't, I think some people were asking about Balenciaga. I have some Long Chomp. I have Dooney and Burke. Um, I have, uh, I'm a plethora of things. So, oh, if you guys could help me think of a giveaway question too, that would be awesome. Uh, let me, sorry guys, I'm just like a hot mess. I literally just like ran into the house, tried to get everything inside of here as fast as I could, and everything is just in a giant pile, like right next to me. Oh, also if you guys could help me think of a giveaway question, that would be amazing. Tonight for our giveaway is I have a Twilly. It's super cute, it's in like this beige and blue. It's really fun. Um, yeah. Super cute. So it's just like a little... It's it's not like a brand or anything. It's just like a non-brand Twilly. And it has kind of like a... Um, like a tassel motif. It has like little tassels and stuff on it. Very like hermes -y. Uh Okay. My link right there. Hi, guys. Sorry, I'm not like <laughs> seeing any of the chat right now. I'm trying to... Make sure I have all of my stuff ready. Okay. Um, Vadrian, did anyone have a good question? Ooh, wait, F Dodo Bird. What is your favorite day to go thrifting? Oh, that's a good. That's a good one, actually. What is your favorite day to go thrifting? I want to know what your guys' favorite day is, because I usually go thrifting Saturdays and Sundays. So. Um, I try to go during the week as often as I can, just like at the stores by my house, but I don't always get a chance to do that. So thank you, Dodo Bird. That is a good one. Leave your answer in the comments of that video is this morning's video. Um, and at the end of tonight's live sale, I'm going to be announcing the winner for our little Twilly right here. It's super cute. I found a couple of these. We actually, I bought these from the Philippines. So, um, that was like in 2019. So I've had these for a hot second. Um, still brand new, haven't used them. So, we're giving away one of these tonight. Hi, Ed, Marion, Boots. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. Thank you guys for being here tonight. Happy Saturday. Does anyone have anything exciting planned for tomorrow? Oh, my cousin's going to come over tomorrow, so I'm really, really excited. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to have a live sale tomorrow. Um... Because she's going to be here. We're probably going to do, like, a movie marathon, which I'm pretty excited about. And... I'm also working on a bag for my aunt. I'm dying it black for her. So I'm going to be a busy bee tomorrow. But I should be back on Monday. I don't exactly know what time. I think I did set a time already, though. On I, I think I made a post for it. I don't remember if it's at like 11 a.m. Or I think it might be 2 p.m. But that one's already set for Monday. And then I'll probably do another one on Tuesday. Because I think the drop is on Wednesday for Loewe. I don't even know. Um, okay. 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 But that's, um, that's our question um, for the night. Favorite day to thrift. Again, the link is right here. Um, Boots, I'm going to send you the link because I know it doesn't work for you, like the little chat thing. So 
I'll send you that link right now. There it is for you. I just emailed it. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> I also got like, a notification for a bag that went on sale. And for some reason, it doesn't load. Oh, it's lo it loaded on my thing. It loaded on my computer. So now like, I'm literally looking to see. Of course, I'm trying to spend more money. Um, I don't know if this is like a real seller, though. Is it like a fake seller? Yeah, they have like a bunch of items that are like, like stock images and stuff and they haven't sold anything. That's like one of the things like when you're like, there's a lot of fake sellers on like different selling platforms. And I don't know if they're just like fishing for your information, which I think is what it is because like they obviously can't like send you the item as just like some sort of counterfeit item. But I feel like they're just fishing for people's addresses or something. So like when they buy something and then like you, they get your address to ship it out to so I feel like that's what it is so when I look online I always try to see like what items they're selling like if it looks like they actually took the images themselves but then of course there's always like those people that like they like will steal photos from other listings and stuff so I don't know there's like a lot of things that go into trying to look to see if they're like a counterfeit seller but usually it's stock images um if all of their photos look a little too perfect or like their images don't match up with each other. Like, usually, like, when someone takes pictures of stuff, they have, like, the same kind of, like, setting or background or whatever or motif for how they're doing it. And then it's just kind of, like, weird random things sometimes, too. Um, or if they have no seller history. Um, or if they have sold things. And then you can check to see if, um, you know, if they're, like, uh, if they cancel transactions. Because that shows, that shows on, um, what's it called? It shows on their seller history or whatever. So like if they if it shows that they cancel transactions, it'll show. Oh, you think it's real? Okay. Is it loading for you yet or no? Oh, okay. It didn't load for me. Oh, there it is. <gasps> should I make an offer or should I just buy it? Tell me now cuz I'm just going to do it. I'm already I'm already here. I'm already I'm going to make an offer. I'm going to offer. I'm crazy. I'm going to make an offer. Um, I know sometimes people get mad when people make offers, but I'm like, whatever, it's just an offer. <laughs> I know. Vadrian's like, I can't. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm crazy. But hi, hi, Don and Tosh. Uh, there's, oh, hi, Candy, um, Kathleen, and Claire. Sorry, guys. I haven't been, like, looking at the chat or anything. But uh, let's get started. I'm, like, pretty excited. I feel like a little hyper tonight. Um, and. Okay, let's start off with a bang. I got a really good one. And someone please buy this like right after I show it because otherwise I'm gonna be forced to keep it because I do like it. But I'm like, I'm trying to buy like some Howl's Moving Castle Loewe wallets. And this is, yeah. As I'm buying something else right now online while I'm talking to you guys. Okay, I have a problem. This is like... <laughs> handbags Anonymous. Um, actually, it's more like handbag enablers. Uh, this is our first item for the evening. This is a Saint Laurent um, like wallet pouch. It's super cute. It's in this black caviar leather. And it has silver hardware. And it does have like, built-in card slots inside. So it's kind of like a wallet, kind of like a pouch. You can really use it for whatever you want. And it just has silver hardware that zips across the top. But it's just a nice little black leather pouch. It, it, it does have a gusset. It's gusseted on this, or I think that's what that's called, right? So it does, it does um, kind of, like, have about an inch and a half of depth. And this should fit a cell phone. Yeah, my cell phone does fit inside perfectly, so you can throw your cell phone in there. There's nowhere to strap a, like, crossbody to, but you can attach, like, a little wristlet onto the zipper pull if you wanted. So, you can definitely do that, and it has silver hardware. Hi, Anne. Hi, Linda. Oh my gosh, sorry, I feel like my chat didn't propagate properly. It was, like, stuck. 
Okay, so this is our first item. This is our black Saint Laurent caviar leather zipper pouch wallet with silver hardware. And this is how much, Vadrian? Um, okay, we're going to do this one for $220. $220, if anyone's interested. That's going to be item number one um, for the evening. Our Saint Laurent zipper pouch wallet so cute all right item number two is up next there's that number one tosh you have mini goats do they have an instagram because i want to see them i love a miniature goat <gasps> have you seen those fainting goats they're so cute and they just like pass out and it's so adorable <laughs> Okay, um, our next item. Oh my gosh, this strap fell off. This is strapless. Our next item is a... Okay, I'll attach the strap later. It's going to take a hot second to do it. But this is a... I'm just going to attach it. This is a little coach um, satchel, like flat bag, and it's in black smooth leather. Sorry, the strap is not on it. And so obviously you can take the strap off and just use this as a clutch if you wanted also. But it is super cute. I'm attaching the strap back on. And the strap also is adjustable as well. So it's removable, it's adjustable, and you can use this on other bags as well. Um, it's pretty, like, I feel like it's pretty rare to find straps that are like this. Like, they don't really sell these that often. And there are, like, those bags that have um, the attachments that look like this. that aren't necessarily ones that, um, well, you can put, like, a regular one onto there. But sometimes uh, you want to just be able to add one of these to, like, a handle or something. And these are the best. Okay, so here we are. It does come with a dust bag. It has the little hang tag right here. And it has these uh, antique brass studs all around. I love the hardware. It's like a sideways C. And you open it up. This is a uh, gloved hand leather, which is nice. And then we have this beautiful uh, microfiber brown interior lining and there's a middle zipper pocket right here and then there's one pocket in the back that has a little snap right there and yeah she is gorgeous I love the style of this bag oh it also does have a back pocket as well yoga go <laughs> is my life and then uh, let me see if the phone fits in here phone test okay doesn't fit sideways doesn't fit standing up so the my phone does not fit unfortunately um yeah definitely too big so a largest iphone doesn't fit a, a regular sized iphone would yeah, it would probably fit in here. Mine is just a little too big. Or if you have an iPhone mini or a foldable phone. So the largest iPhone 14 uh, does not fit. It's like the iPhone Pro Max Plus or whatever. Um, the exterior leather is in pretty good shape. Uh, they're just like minor marks because this is a very, like this is a smooth, like a, almost like a box leather texture. It is a thick leather as well. It, it did say that it was a glove tan leather. So it is glove tanned. So it is very smooth. You can see there are some marks just around the underside of the buckle, but nothing very obvious. And this is the Coach Beat Bag is the name of this one. Oh my gosh, Anne, I still cannot with that luggage that you found today. I sent a photo to my mom and I was like, mom, look what Anne found. And she's like, oh, I need one of those. Um, and then here it is, crossbody fantastic and this is the shortest that the strap goes so this will go longer um oh my gosh Adrian, that was so loud i have to lower my volume i don't know why i was all the way up okay um this is our black leather coach beats bag with antique brass hardware with dust bag and this is how much Adrian? 
Okay, this one is $200. Sorry, this one's a little expensive because this one um, <laughs> was expensive at the store. But I still think it's a really good deal and it's a gorgeous bag. And I think these, like the resale value is a lot more too. Um, so even if you were to resell this, you would still make some money. So that's item number two. And then, <gasps> yes, and please. I know, but it would be such a like, it would be crazy to ship it. Because um, remember I had like that away luggage that I thrifted once and then I sold it and it was intense to make that box to ship it. I had to like Frankenstein this box together and it was nuts. Hi Rosanna. All right, but here we go. Beautiful coach beat bag. Um, what's the, re oh, the retail of the coach beat bag? Do you know? Okay, up next, um, let's do this super cute, oh, a restore one for $4.25, wow, my hubby makes custom boxes, oh, uh, <laughs> you're lucky, Anne, I remember I was the one that actually shipped the away, um, luggage, and I was just like, oh my gosh. This is so hard. I used so much tape. I think I used a roll of tape to mail it. Luckily, it wasn't going too far. By Parcel Monkey. Oh, I used um, either the shipping through... Uh, what's it called? Through PayPal, or I use Pirate Ship. I have heard of Parcel Monkey, though. But I think... Is that the same? It's kind of, like, similar to... Um, what's it called? To Pirate Ship, too, I think. All right, um, this is our next item. This is a super cute Tory Burch wallet. I am obsessed. It's in this cream colored Safiano leather. And then it has these beautiful flowers. And they are actually like some sort of like a raffia. It's gorgeous. And there also is um, the print, the little flower. Also, there's one on the back. And this one opens like this. And it's super clean. It's in like new condition. Um, there's no stains or marks or anything inside of the wallet. So it is in really great shape. And the exterior leather is perfect. Um, the little flowers are in perfect shape too. And I just love the colors. I don't know. It reminds me of the Philippines because they, they make flowers like this. Um, and like in as artwork like in the Philippines too. And I just think it's really, really pretty. It just has light gold hardware. And, yeah, this is it. Right, Dodo Bird? It's so pretty. Um, this is going to be item number three. This is our Tory Burch Cream Safiano Leather Wallet um, with light gold hardware. And, yeah. And this one we're going to do for $85. Our Tory Burch Wallet. That's item number three. And then item number four is up next. There you go. So cute. Tory Birch. And then for item number four, I have... Right, Kathleen? The flowers are so pretty. They're like a, made of like a raffia that's like um, stitched in. And the rest of the wallet is in uh, Safiano. Uh, Veronica, no, I haven't. I've been kind of MIA this whole day. So I have just been outsourcing and stuff today. So I haven't been able to check any of my messages yet. Um, okay, so this is our next item. This is uh, Madewell? Yeah, this is a little Madewell crossbody bag. And this is... The what? Oh, <laughs> okay. I don't know if you guys watch um, the Mayfair Witches, but I saw this bag and like I was looking, I was watching the Mayfair Witches and whenever I watch TV shows, I'm always like, oh, I wonder what bag they're carrying. So I was like staring at her bag and I was like, that's a Madewell bag, right? So then I was like, okay, she has a Madewell bag and she's like the main character. I forget her name, but um, she's the main character on the show. She's like a neurosurgeon. Um, she was adopted. She finds out who are her, who her 
biological mother is and she found out that her mom just like passed away or something so she's going back to where her mom's from and um discovering her life back there and apparently they're a family of witches uh, <laughs> and this is the bag that she carried oh this is the actual bag but this is the same style of bag she carried so this is a madewell little satchel bag and it's in this beautiful brown leather. Uh, it has antique brass hardware. We have the little short top handle. And then we also have the crossbody strap. Both are adjustable and both are removable also, which is fantastic. So we love, we love options. It has a front pocket right here. And then the main compartment of the bag looks like this. Um, it's... Unlined, so it's just suede inside. Um, there's no like pen marks or major stains or anything. Oh, wait, no, there's one little pen mark on the side. Um, can I pull it out? Where'd it go? Okay, there's one little pen mark on the inside corner. It's <laughs> all the way in there, so I can't like turn it inside out. Um, and the exterior does have just like regular wear mark. But I think it's really pretty. And it's the same bag from Me Fair Witches. So this is item number four. This is our tan brown leather Madewell satchel uh, with antique brass hardware. And I'm going to put in parentheses Me Fair Witches so I can remember which one it is. Um, and this is how much, Vaderine? Okay, we're going to do this one for $35. It's going to be item number four. And that's our Mayfair Witch Bag. Always and forever. All right. And then up next is going to be number five. Wait, what? This is how it looks like on the shoulder. It's super cute. Just like that. And then it has a crossbody strap also. Okay, up next. We have, oh, Purse Creator's calling it. Item number four. Congratulations, Purse Creator. This one's going to you. So cute. Alrighty. Up next. Oh, this one is really fun. Uh, this is... A little pineapple, and it is a Kate Spade pineapple. Um, these are, like, for some reason, like, really expensive, like, resale. Um, I guess this is, like, a really popular, like, design or something from Kate Spade. But this one is my favorite one, because this comes in a variety of different styles. But I feel like this is my favorite iteration of the pineapple pouch. This is um, also one of the larger ones as well. So this will fit credit cards, AirPod. Um, it's actually a pretty good size. It obviously won't fit your phone or anything unless you have a small flip phone. But it is in this beautiful yellow leather quilted. And then you have these beautiful jeweled um, adornments on the front. And then you have the little pineapple leaves up top. And then you just have a little Kate Spade charm with a zipper pull. And then this opens up. Sorry, I have my stuff inside. Get some receipts. And here is the interior. It's gusseted so your change or whatever you have inside doesn't fall out. But it's super duper cute. You can put your AirPods in here. It's a good thickness. So AirPods will definitely fit. You can put like a lipstick, um, like a mascara thing or whatever in there too. Definitely cards. Definitely change. Um, I wonder if a, see if a card case will fit in here. Well, that one's a larger one. Oh, this will fit in there. So it will fit like a little card case inside if you have it like a card case. And then you can attach a wristlet onto here and then you're good to go. You have a little wristlet. That's a little pineapple. And it is super duper cute. I have those SpongeBob SquarePants who lives in a pineapple under the sea. All right, so this is going to be item number five. And that is our little pineapple. Um, Kate Spade pineapple 
zip around coin pouch with light gold hardware and jewel details. And this is how much? Okay, this one's $85. That's going to be item number five. Okay, and then item number six is up next. Oh, Norma's calling it. Congratulations, Norma. So cute. Yay. All right. Our next item is going to be... Oh, okay. I don't know if um, any of you guys would be interested in this. But this is a men's um, Burberry uh, polo shirt, I think is what this is called. Men's Burberry polo. It's a size large. Um, it is, like, a pretty big size, though. Like, it's definitely kind of like an oversized kind of large. Because I normally wear a large, and this is, like, really big. So it might fit kind of like an extra large, or it's just like an oversized fit. Which, I mean, is pretty popular right now. It's just in this tan color way. And then it just has, like, the little, um, the trim is right here for that kind of like, uh, what is it called? The Haymarket Novacek print. Um, and then just a little peekaboo like around the collar. And then you have the little Burberry person right there on the horse. Uh, but yeah. Oh yeah, Boots, it was a pineapple purse. It's just a little uh, pineapple Kate Spade pouch. Isn't it cute? It's a Kate Spade one. Okay, so this is our tan Burberry polo shirt, size large, and uh, men's. And this one we're going to do for $55, if anyone's interested in that. It's a men's Burberry polo. Okay, up next, we got item number seven. Oh, Jocelyn's calling it. Congratulations, Jocelyn. Item number six. Our Burberry is going to you. Congrats. It is a great polo. All right. And number seven is next. Um, I'm going to show you guys this, but I'm, I'm going to keep this. I'm keeping this one for myself, at least for the time being, because I can't afford any other Loewe shirts. But I found this Loewe Dumbo shirt. It's so cute. It's just in pink. And then it says Loewe across the back. I'm so excited. It's so cute. I want to wash it and wear it tomorrow, but I don't have enough time. It's already too late for that. But I'm really excited about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, up next. What do we have? Oh, this one is... <laughs> really really cute um this is a rag and bone um backpack and it is so fun it has like this perforated leather um around the front and the bottom of it right and isn't it so cute i can't believe i i, I found that it's like amazing i've wanted one of those I, i've wanted a lovey t-shirt for so long and i finally have one, so I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, but yeah, Rag and Bone all other backpack. It's about like a medium size. It's not like really super small. It's a good size. Um, there's a little zipper pocket here on the side. Uh, we have a uh, black leather um, back straps right here, um, which are adjustable, and it has black hardware, which is pretty cool. So the hardware on this is black. Just the zipper teeth are in silver and then when you open it up it is um unlined just the back has a fabric for where the zipper is right there but the rest of the interior is just unlined so it's just suede oh that's awesome linda yeah i remember that one it was a, it was that yeah the one you got is definitely like a smaller size this one's a little bit larger um here's how it kind of looks like on, so you guys have like kind of like a size reference. It's really, really cute. 
great little bag. And I love the perforated designs. I don't know. I'm very into perforated things right now. I don't know why. Um, and this is item number seven. Oh, the leather on this feels amazing too. Oh, it also does have little feet on the bottom as well, which is amazing. Uh, so this is our black rag and bone. I'm going to say it's a small medium. Small medium backpack with black hardware and drawstring top. Okay, and this one, we're going to do for how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $110. And that is going to be item number seven. The leather and the interior are in really good shape. I think really the only wear is that there is um, a little bit of wear, like, on the feet. There's just, like, light scratches. There's no, like, actual color loss. Oh, no, there is. A little bit right there. So a little bit of the silver is coming through. And that's item number seven for $110. Um, our rag and bone perforated backpack. And up next, we're on item number eight. Um, what do I have? Uh, oh, here we go. <clears throat> this one is a uh, Zedig and Voltaire. So this is going to be item number eight. And it's a, like a zip pouch kind of like crossbody bag um it is in this black quilted leather it has antique brass hardware you see that has like the little wing detail right there um that's like the zadig and voltaire logo and across like where the zippers are it has like this can you see that it's like a lace detail so there's a lace across the top and then there's lace also right here where that zipper is also um, it just has a chain crossbody strap, which isn't adjustable, so it's just like a chain. Uh, the length is good, though. It sits, like, a little bit below my hip for this guy. And there's a front zipper compartment right there, and then the main compartment of the bag looks like this so it actually has two larger like areas and it's separated by a middle um pocket uh but there's no other like pockets to the bag um but yeah it's nice and clean on the inside exterior leather is in good shape i don't see any like rubbing or anything and the lace all looks really good too um, it has like the antique brass chain crossbody strap and hardware. And this is item number eight. Um, yeah, it is. I think like there's this zipper pull has like the little ribbon on it. The one up top is missing. But I don't think that's really that big of a deal. It's probably easily replaceable or I don't even know if it actually came with it. It kind of goes with it because of the lace, but I'm not 100% certain about the zipper thing. But it does have the regular zipper pull. It's still there, just not the little fabric-y one, if there was one. Uh, so this is number eight. This is our black Zadig and Voltaire pouch crossbody bag quilted with antique brass hardware and lace trim. And this one's going to be how much, Vaderine? Okay, we're going to do this one for $70. And hi, Pauline. How are you? We're having a good night. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so that's number eight for $70. And then our next item is number nine. Oh, Hipatia is calling it. Congratulations, Hipatia. This is a beautiful bag. You're going to love it. Congratulations. All right. Set that guy over there. Um, up next. Oh, I still do have this bag, too, if anyone's interested. This is that brand new Coach um, Crossbody, or Coach Pillow Tabby 26. 
So this one's still available. It's in that blue-green ombre. Really pretty with silver hardware. Comes with dust bag and it has a tag still attached. And the care booklet's inside as well. And all the original packaging is all in there too. So squishy and beautiful. Um, this is our Coach Pillow Tabby um, Ombre Green to Blue with brushed silver hardware, new with tags and dust bag. Hi, Marjorie! And this is how much, Adrian? Okay, this one was $275, and um, it is brand new. Um, retail is regularly $550 for this one. So, okay, so that's item number nine. We still have that one if anyone's interested. Set this one right here. Um, hi, Marjorie. Oh, Marjorie. Marjorie, I think, I think you messaged about the long chomp. So I'm going to show that one next since you just came in. I remember. Um, here she is. So this is, I have to attach a strap. This bag is so stinking cute. And I kind of was thinking about keeping it, but like, honestly, like I don't need to keep it. I just want to keep it, but I do need Loewe bags. So I'm going to let it go. Um, this is a beautiful Longchamp satchel. This is all leather. Um, I love the colors. It's in our primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. And it has silver hardware. It just has little brown or tan leather tabs on the sides. Uh, Crossbody strap. Fantastic. You guys know this bag um, or the style of it. It's in really great shape. The only thing is there is this mark on the back. Um, I started working on it. Um, and this is actually a, like, so much better than how it originally was. There was, like, I don't know, like, some weird splotchy thing on there. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, because the thing with this is like the texture changed in that one spot. So I think I got a color match, but then the way that the light reflects on this little portion of the bag is always going to be different. So like, depending on what angle you're holding it at, like you can't, like it disappears and then reappears. It's really weird, but there's just going to be this little mark right there. Um, but all the corners and stuff are in great shape. There's no other marks on the bag that I can see other than um, there, there's like a light, like a scratch just right there. Just like, there's like a little scratch in the leather, but um, it's, yeah, I can't really change that, I guess. Um, the inside is nice and clean. This also will come with the dust bag. Um, which is pretty rare. I feel like I never find bags, these Longchamp bags with a dust bag. So that was pretty cool. Um, the interior, zipper pocket in the back, open pocket in the front. It's super clean on the inside. And this is going to be our next item. Hi, Brit. I know it does look like a vintage clown. Do you guys know who Seppi Yin is? That's all I always think of Seppi and um, when I think of anything with that with clowns <laughs> he's like a famous Mexican clown but yeah so this is number 10 our Seppi <laughs> long chop I don't know how to spell that so this is our yellow red and blue leather long chomp um, queer satchel with silver hardware and this is how much, Vedrine? So good. Isn't the color so good on this one? Okay, we're doing this one um, for $175. I, I did go a little crazy when I bought this because it was a little bit more expensive, but I thought the colors were just too special. You never see this colorway in these bags. I feel like I've never seen this color. Oh, there you go. Brit knows that being... <laughs> or like those clown ice creams that you get from the ice cream man from the ice cream truck um yeah 
Looks like that too. Stephine! Ah, there you go, Hipati. See, Hipati knows too. She knows what I'm talking about. I had um, a lot of like Hispanic friends growing up. So I, that's why I know Stephine. Um, hey, V, how are you? And right, the leather is so nice. Ugh, so, so cute. It's a good size, too. And this is the one that has a little button. So this one is the one that folds up. I know sometimes not all the leather ones, like, fold up. So it's pretty cool. All right. Um, this is number... What was it, number 10? Yeah, that was number 10. Okay. Up next... We got item number 11. Did I put this one? Okay, I did. Okay. Up next... Right, something latte? It's so good. Okay, our next bag is gonna be... Um, oh! Okay. Hold on, there's other bags inside of... Oh, here's this one. I was looking for this. Okay, this one is super cool. This is a special edition... Oh! <gasps> It comes with a little bag! I didn't even notice! Oh, that is so cute. Hold on, this is like too exciting. Um, that is so cute. I didn't even notice that it came with this. Okay, so this is a um, Kolhan Rodarte. <laughs> Wait, what, Vidrin? Oh. <laughs> Is it really soothing, Anne? I feel like I am, like, so loud and crazy. Um, okay, so this is a Rodarte Kolhan collaboration bag. And it is so, so cute. Uh, okay, so one side, it's, the whole thing is embossed um, croc in, like, this, um, yeah, in just in black leather. And there's a f pocket right here. has a little snap right there. It's magnetic. And then just Kolhan... Rodarte on once on this side right here. This is the front side and it has these black studs on it. This kind of doubles as a weapon also. Um, really, really nice. And uh, I already showed you guys a little removable pouch. It's like the baby version of the bag. It also has studs on one side and then Kolhan Rodarte on the other. And um, this is so cute. It even has another little hook on the other side, so you can use this as a charm if you wanted. You can hook it onto a bag, um, like a like a top handle of a bag or something, or you can make it into a little crossbody. What what happened, Beatrice? It did give birth. <laughs> um, inside is in this pink microfiber fabric. There's a zipper pocket right there. It has two built-in card slots, and there's actually a larger pocket on top of it. And, um... Oh, it has Kolhan... I don't know what this is. Um, <laughs> someone's business cards that work at Kolhan. So I don't know, maybe someone from Kolhan owned this bag. That's crazy. And then there's another pocket on the other side. Um, phone... Phone, phone, oh, phone, phone, hold on, where's the zipper? Oh, hi, Linda, how are you? Other Linda, Linda N. Okay, phone, phone fits, but it's kind of awkward, like, honestly, for a second to get it in there, but it does fit, and then it does zip, so it does fit, you just gotta make sure that it's um, standing up properly, um, when you, or actually you just pop it in to the inner corners, so then you know that it's in there, and then you zip, and then it's, it's fine. So once you get that, like, tucked inside, then you zip, and then it'll be, um, good to go. But phone does fit inside, and, yeah, don't think I see any stains or anything on the interior, so it's in great shape. Um, this is very exciting for me. I <laughs> the... 
bag literally gave birth to a little baby, which is really fun. The crossbody strap also is adjustable and it is removable if you wanted to just use this as a clutch as well. So this is item number 11. This is our Kolhan Rodarte collab bag. Um, croc embossed leather round collab bag with um, it has black studs and light gold hardware. Oh, agreed, Kirsten. Kolhan, like they're known for their shoes, but their bags are also really well made. Oh, with a uh, removable mini uh, pouch. And we're going to do this one for $95. I love Rodarte. I still have that one Rodarte dress um, that's like lace and sequins. It's so pretty. Uh, okay, so that was item number 11. And looks like Norma's calling it. Congratulations, Norma. This one is fantastic beautiful bag you are gonna love it it's really really nice i love like collabs like this rodarte does some amazing stuff i had um one of my friends in college used to actually work for rodarte which was pretty cool so like they're um they're like a duo. There's two of them. I don't know their names unfortunately, but uh, I remember that uh, I had a friend that worked for Rodarte, which was pretty interesting. And we're on number twelve now. A cell phone about four years ago. Oh, Kathleen, isn't it the worst? <laughs> I still am really really bad at answering my cell phone. I'm really bad at like phone stuff in general, I don't know. It, I'm like, I'm not good at replying to text messages. I am the worst with that kind of stuff. Um, next up is number 12. And for number 12, I have this really cute Kate Spade crossbody bag. This is in a, it's red. It's like a red with like pinky orangey undertones, almost like a salmon. Um, then it says Kate Spade, New York, and that's actually like, is it debossed when it when it goes out, right? So it's debossed on there, and it has light gold hardware. Crossbody strap is adjustable, and interior is um. Yeah, it's in pretty good shape in the inside. There's just some slight like discoloration up at the top by where the zipper is and uh, there's just one interior pocket cell phone definitely fits inside of there and it's just a light cute little crossbody bag and did i say the strap was adjustable yes right kirsten i like that it's cool like the deep boss leather is really fun all right so this is number 12 this is our um, red, pink, salmon, uh, debossed, um, domed crossbody bag with light gold hardware. And this is how much we had rain? Okay, we're going to do this one for $65. That's going to be item number 12. $65 hairs. Oh my gosh, I haven't been keeping track of what people have bought. <laughs> so I hope you've been keeping track, Adrian. I totally forgot to do that. Okay. Um, oh, number 13 is next. Lucky number 13. <gasps> what am I going to do? I have so many lucky items. Uh, which one should I do? I have a couple that I want to do. Okay, Vader, tell me which one I should do. Are you sure? Then I'm, I'm, I feel like when, I feel like I'm going to end up keeping it. It's so cute. No, I'm going to, okay. No, I'm going to, I'm going to, no, let's, let's show it. 
Because then I'm going to end up keeping it. No. The first one. Yeah. Right? I kind of like it too. Okay, you guys. No, no, I'm going to show it. Because so, then I'm going to end up keeping it. <laughs> okay. Um, Vader and I are fighting over this bag. Um, okay, I'm just going to show it to you guys. And hopefully one of you guys buys it because I'm probably going to end up keeping it because it's really cool. This is a new style bag. It's still in stores also. Um, but this is uh, the Balenciaga uh, Small Domed Satchel. I forget the name exactly. The, like the spell out um, domed satchel. Vill, I think. V-I-L-L-E. And it is... So good. It is so cute. Um, so it's a Balenciaga. It has the crossbody strap. It has the gold hardware. Um, Balenciaga spell out. It has the little clochette right there. There's a back pocket, which is fantastic because your cell phone does fit standing up and it fits laying down as well. So um, it's great. It's in really nice shape has uh, feet on the bottom. There's like kind of like a little, I guess like it's a scratch just right there. Um, honestly, I think conditioner might get that out. It's just like a little, yeah. And it's on the bottom, but yeah. Anyway, and then the interior <laughs> looks like this. Um, there is... It's like part leather, part fabric in the interior. There's a zipper pocket in the back and then an open pocket on the other side. So definitely like an Alma. Is it the size of the LV Alma? Um, I think it is. I think it's kind of like the BB. It's small. I don't exactly know what size the Alma BB is, but... It's just, it's just big enough for your phone to sit standing up inside of. So it's pretty good size. And as a crossbody, it is fantastic. I love the length. Um, this is the mid length that you can carry it. It actually will go longer and it will go shorter as well. Um, but yeah, so this is item number 13. I, yeah, I think it's this bag is so cute. I have to sell it or else I'm going to keep it. And I cannot keep, um, I can't keep it. <laughs> and Claire, I know. My precious, my precious. Oh my gosh, you guys don't even know. I loved that movie when it came out. Smeagol, my favorite. Um, okay, so this is our Black Balenciaga Small Deal um, Domed spell out satchel with gold hardware this is how much we read like i think the retail for this one is like around i don't know i think it's like 1800 because there's one size smaller than this one and it's like tiny 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 this is the size that is up um i know kirsten Lewevi will be worth it hopefully someone buys this or else i'm not gonna let it go um, okay, so Vadrian, how much? I know. I feel like the resale is usually, like, over, like... Yeah. You have to look at the sizes, too, because some of them are, like, the really tiny one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a really good price. Uh, we're gonna keep it under a thousand. So we're gonna do nine hundred and fifty dollars for this one. I can't even type it. I'm like, okay. Um, there you go. Number thirty. Someone please buy it and take it away from me, so that I don't end up hoarding this bag because it is so cute so cute mm. i love that it has the back pocket i feel like this is the only like domed 
satchel I've ever seen that has like a back pocket. They never do. Like the Dooney and Burke ones don't. Louis Vuitton doesn't do it. Kate Spade, Tory Burch, no back pocket. None. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, um, Linda, I finished the bag. So, it'll go out um, Monday. Okay, so up next um, is going to be item number 14. And for number 14, we have... Uh, let's do... There's actually, like, a couple things that I really want to keep right now. Like, that St. Laurent I really want to keep. Or the St. Laurent pouch that I showed you guys first. This is so good. These are, like, even that long chomp. I'm, like, obsessed with it. Oh, this is the dust bag for that coach. Okay. Um, up next. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. This is a, a sh uh, an Ugg bag. UGG. Like, the shoes. This one is so fun. It is... Um, what kind of fur is this called, Adrian? It's... Uh, is it shielding? No, it's Sherpa. Sherpa? No, it's it's real fur, so it's Sherling. Sherpa? Sherling. No, but what kind is this? Mongolian? I think it's like Mongolian, like, lamb fur or something. It is so soft. It honestly it kind of feels like Elizo's hair. Like, this is what Elizo's hair feels like. So if you buy this bag, you'll know what Elizo's hair feels like. It literally, this is how soft his hair is. Um... Inside just has one pocket, and it has crossbody strap, which is adjustable, but it's not removable. Wait, what, Adrian? I thought it was a wig. <gasps> Can you imagine if this was my hair? <gasps> Do I need hair like this? Oh my gosh, it looks like Sideshow Bob. <laughs> That's actually really funny. <laughs> It has a little tassel right there, um, and then it has uh, gold hardware. And it's, I know, it's in really great shape. It's nice and clean. Um, the bottom, it has a little bottom piece right here. This is leather, and up top, around the zipper pull, it's also just black leather as well. And this is going to be item number uh, 20, or not 20, we're like only on number 14, not 20. Oh, Linda, right? Okay, so this is 14. This is our um, black uh, Mongolian fur. <laughs> Eliza with 20 years. Mongolian fur bag with black leather trim and gold hardware. And this one is going to be... Okay, we're going to do this one for $65. This bag retail is $155. And it's in, like, new condition. It's in really great shape. Super soft. This would be a cute pillow. Or a cute hair piece. Wasn't it so cute? I should grow my hair like this. I'm going to get a perm. My hair would not be this soft, though. I actually have a pillow like this. It's really like, it's so, it's like my favorite pillow. It's so soft. <laughs> okay, up next, we got item number 15. Yeah, I have a vest like that, actually. It was that Fendi one, right? It's Fendi? Prada, no, the Prada vest. I have a Fendi, black Fendi Prada vest that is also like that Mongolian sheep fur or sheep, yeah. And it's super, super soft. <gasps> they would match. I need to find that vest. I don't know where I put it. Okay, up next, I have... Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Look at this. Okay, I actually have, for um, anyone that may have a larger sized foot, because this is a women's size 11, and I'm actually going to try these on, because I didn't try them on in the store. Do these fit me? 
<gasps> oh, stop! If the shoe fits! I can't believe it. It's over. I think I have to keep these. No, okay, someone buy these or else I'm just going to end up wearing these around everywhere I go. Making my mom and sister jealous. Because these are platform um, Crocs. I'm going to have to get some giblets for these, though. That would be super cute. Did you guys see that um, those Crocs that I found that had, like, the Chanel little um, charms on them? I almost bought those just for the charms. It's really bad. But I'm sure you can get them, like, online somewhere for, like, way cheaper. But this is <laughs> um, platform Crocs. These are a size 11. Marjorie, yeah. I think this one, they just shaved it. It's not, like... Um, I think it's just, like, sewn on. I think. I'm not sure, actually. I could be lying. What does it say? Yeah, I don't think they... Um, I don't think... I don't know, actually. I think they just... Attach it on. I don't know. I'm, I might be the skin. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> um, anyway. Black Crocs. Um, women size 11, or not black, purple, sorry, lavender Crocs, platform, size 11. Um, should I dye them black? <laughs> if I, if I end up keeping them, I would probably dye them black so I can wear them with everything. I don't know how great purple lavender Crocs were going to match with all of my outfits. <gasps> oh, that's right. It does. Oh, hi, Ariella. I'm good. How are you? I could be, oh my gosh, it would match the Chanel clear tote bag. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to be pastel from now on. Okay, this is going to be our um, size 11 women's platform Crocs lavender. I want the Balenciaga ones too. How much are these, Beatrice? Okay, we're going to do these for... $55. Um, someone buy them so I don't start wearing these around the house. <laughs> I'm gonna wear, if you guys see me thrifting, don't be surprised if you see me in these platform Crocs if no one buys them. Uh, <laughs> but they're women's size 11. Um, I know a couple of people asked me for like larger sized um, shoes. And oh my gosh, I'm seriously. Dip dye. I saw, um, I saw, like, that video for dip dyeing them in a gradient. That's actually, can you imagine? That would actually be really cool. And, like, it'll transition from, like, lavender to, like, like a gray and then, like, a black. That would be actually really cool. <laughs> By giblet letters. <laughs> Wait, what are they actually called? They're not actually called giblets. I always think they're called giblets. Are they giblets? I don't know what they're called. Gibbets! I feel, I feel like giblets is way better than gibbets. So I only need one. Oh, Hypatia, the black Crocs that I saw that had the Chanel things on them were a size 6. So, if you want them, I will buy them for you. But I'm probably going to keep half the giblets and you can keep the other half. Because I need those. They look like Barney the Dinosaur. <laughs> Not me wearing these. Okay. Yeah. No one buy them. I'm keeping them now. Because I'm going to wear them and make my, my mom and sister really jealous. Because they want those platform Crocs really bad. Sorry, I got them first. No, I'm not going to shrink. Okay, the, that would have to shrink a lot to fit my mom or my sister. I don't think they they shrink four sizes. Really? Well, don't tell my mom that. And then she's going to shrink them. <laughs> okay, our next item is... Uh, okay. Let's do this. This is a maroon Kate Spade. It's a double zip camera bag. And it has light gold hardware. It just says Kate Spade right there across the front. Crossbody strap is adjustable. 
And the interior is nice and clean. The front compartment doesn't have any other pockets, just the back one has one open pocket right there. Exterior leather is in pretty good shape. I don't think I see any rubbing or anything. So, zippers, nice and, oh, this one got stuck for a second. Nice and fluid. And this is item number 16. This is our maroon Kate Spade double zip camera bag with light gold hardware. Wait, what happened? I am flying asleep. I can't believe no one has bought Burt Reynolds toupee. <gasps> Lord! <laughs> it's gonna be my toupee soon. If I, I'm going bald, I'm gonna wear that, and I'm gonna be Eliza's twin. How much is this case paid, Adrian? Okay, we're gonna do this one for $65. It's gonna be our Kate Spade camera bag crossbody. Item number 16. All right. Up next, number 17. And because that was 16. 17 is up next. Oh my gosh, I still have so much stuff. I don't even know if I'm. This is gonna like carry over to Monday because honestly, I got so much stuff. I can't buy anything else anymore. I honestly didn't even think I bought that much stuff today. Because, like, I feel like I... I was like, oh, I didn't really find that much stuff. And then, like, BAM! There's, like, 50 million things. Um... We're, you're only doing 25 items, Vadrian? Oh. Vadrian was... Vadrian was like, you're only gonna do 25 items today. And I was like, really? <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Our next item is I got another. Uh, this is a Rag and Bone crossbody bag, and this is just in super soft black leather. It has um, antique silver hardware. We have a nice crossbody strap right here, which is adjustable and it also is removable, so you can just use this as a clutch if you wanted. We have a front pocket right here, and then the top zips open. And it just has one interior little pocket. It's just lined in gray cotton fabric lining. And, oh, there are also two zippers up top. So you can zip it either way, which is cool. Uh, exterior leather is in great shape. Nice and soft. Um, don't think I really see any rubbing. Maybe a little bit of rubbing right here in this corner. Uh, but I will touch up the color because it'll just take a second to touch up the color and it's going to look good as new. Um, this The hardware is like an antique hardware. So it does have like that like just oldish look to it, but it's supposed to look like that. Um, what actually happens when you have most antique silver hardware is the antique part of the hardware actually wears off. So the longer you wear the bag that has the antique silver hardware, the newer the hardware looks before it starts looking old again. So it's kind of weird, but yeah, there you go. That's number 17, our black rag and bone crossbody bag with antique silver hardware. And this is gonna be how much, Baderin? Okay, this is gonna be $60. <laughs> Kirsten, <laughs> sorry, Kirsten. Did you see the backpack? The backpack's super cute. Okay, um, okay, that's that guy, number seventeen, super cute, rag and bone. Um, Hypatia, I will just sell you them at the cost that they were, which I think was like, was it thirty or thirty five dollars? Oh, but but that's plus tax. So, I have to see if they're still there. So, I have to go back. Um, they're closed tomorrow, and they're also closed on Monday. So, I will go back on Tuesday and see if they're still there, and I will let you know. But, um, yeah, I, they were like 30 or $35, right? So, whatever it is with tax. I just want the giblets. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, phone check. Let's see. Uh... Phone does fit. Right there. So it does fit. Yeah, I'll let you know, Hypatia. Um, I'll DM you on Instagram, if anything. 
Okay. Oh, Kirsten, let me show you the backpack. It's so cute. It's this really cute perforated backpack. And it's in black leather. The back, like the rest of the bag is like this smooth leather. And the top flap is in like this pebbled leather. So it's really nice. It has black hardware. Um, but it also has like the silver uh, zip. And then it has silver right there where it says rag and bone. It's a drawstring. And then there's a little zipper pocket right there. And there's one interior zipper pocket in the interior. And the inside is unlined. Just the pocket is fabric. Everything else is just in suede. And it's such a cute little backpack. No worries, Veronica. Kathleen, Vadrian, can you check that one? I'm not sure, but Vadrian's gonna check. And the toe or the backpack was, um, oh, the black is a, that's not that one. Um, Rag and Bone. Okay, yeah, the, back in, the Rag and Bone backpack was $110. And it was number seven. Okay. Up next, um, <gasps> no, Hibatia, we're gonna sp we're gonna split them. I just bought like one or two of them. <laughs> I just wanted the little giblets. I just wanted to put them on my new purple Crocs. Just one for each. <laughs> Oh, Kathleen, do you remember what number it was? Because Vadrian said, uh, we think that it's sold. All right, anyway, Vadrian's still looking. Um, I will continue while Vadrian is looking. What's the date tonight? 128. I'm going to put the date on here. Okay. Um, up next will be number 18. Um, Hypatia, one, I want one of the Chanel logo ones, because I think it had two. And then one of the, just the ones that are double, I think, because I think each of them has like a double. All right, Hypatia, I, I'll show you the photo also. Um, oh, Marjorie, number 10 was the long chomp. Yeah, okay. The bottom is in really good shape. It doesn't have like any marks or anything on the bottom. And all the corners are also uh, in really good condition. It's just that one mark on the back. I did kind of like fill in the color, but the texture is just like totally off. So the color looks off because of the texture. Because different textured leathers, even if they're the same color, they reflect a different color, which is really weird. But, like, you can see that, like, kind of, like, in the center, it's, like, the same texture. And then it's, like, the same color. But then, like, it has, like, a ring of darkness. So. Oh, and it's calling number 10. Congratulations, Anne. You get our Sepien slash um, Bozo the Clown. Longchamp. <laughs> Satchel. Congratulations. She's a beauty. Yay! The colors are just too good. I know how much you love those colors right now, too. It kind of goes with your, with your Lueve. All right, up next is... Okay, um, 18. What happened, Vietnam? Okay, our next item... Oh, okay. Don't say both. It's Sepien. That's what I was thinking about. Someone else said Bozo. Um, I have a little Fendi coin key case wallet. And it has like the little owl eyes motif with the crystals. It's so stinking cute. It just has... Kathleen. Oh, was it from the haul video? Oh, from like the, from the sale. Oh, hold on. Vadrian, can you check it out? I don't remember what it was. 
Uh, hold on. Actually, let me look really quickly. Da, da, da. Let me just scroll through the video. I don't even know why I'm going to the actual video to watch it, but I am. Um, while I check this out really quickly, if you guys would like to enter the giveaway, don't forget to enter. We're giving away that little silk twilly that I got from the Philippines today. And there is the link. Leave your answer in the comments of that video. And... Okay, let's see if I can find that bag. Did I sell it? Okay, there's that one. There's that one. Oh, was it the... That... No, that was blue. That was a different color. Look at that gray blue. Um, Brahmin. No, the only coach that I showed was like a light blue color. Like that light blue gray color. Was it that one? That one's that one I haven't shown yet, but that one is gonna be available. I'll show that next. Um, after this little Fendi. But yeah, from today's video, it I didn't have a coach bag other than that one. It was like the coach rider bag, I think is what it's called. And it has like the little belted detail. It had brown handles, the body was like hold on. I don't even know why I'm describing it because I could just show it to you. Because it's somewhere in here. Was it this one? This guy? Was it this one, Kathleen? Oh, okay, yeah. It was this one. Okay. I'll show this one next. Let me just show... Let me just finish the little Fendi guy right here. Um, there's a little bit of, like, a color transfer right there across the top. And, like, a little bit, like, right there. Um... I think that might be it though yeah i think that's it um the back has this mark but i think that's just dirt let me see if it'll come off where's my cleaner dun, dun, dun. hold on i'm gonna see if i can get this off you're welcome kathleen i was like I was like, my memory is, like, not working because I don't remember that bag. Let me see if any of this color transfer will come off. I was, I was thinking about, like, just color matching it, but it kind of has, like, this printed, like, kind of, like, look to it, I think. I don't know. Oh, it's a swagger, not the writer. Sorry. Coach Swagger. Yeah, I don't think it's going to come off. It kind of did get a little slightly lighter. But, yeah. Okay. Um, it does have also the little key lobster claw in the inside. And the interior is in this, like, magenta purple. And the little gussets are in, a, a, like, a hot pink as well. Oh, no, it's okay, Kathleen. The handles were tan. So that's probably what you were thinking about. Um, so how much is this, Adrian? Oh, also, there is a little bit of, like, discoloration in the interior right there. Like, just at the very bottom. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little discoloration inside of there, too. Um, okay, this is item number 18. Our Fendi Jeweled Owl Eyes coin key case and we're doing this one for we're doing this one for 175 175 if anyone's interested that's gonna be item number 18 and that's our little Fendi owl key coin card case thing for number 18 yes 175 so cute. Look at it. It's mesmerizing. So cute. I love the little eyes. Anyway, up next is going to be... Can I? Can you see him if I put him right there? He's like my little... Imagine if this was his hair. <gasps> Stop. Are we going to have a fashion sh a photo shoot with this? Look at, he has hair now. It's Eliza. Eliza's going to be so mad. I'm going to be like, Eliza, look, this is you. And then I'm going to show that to him. And he's going to be so mad at me. Um, all right. Up next 
is on the Fendi. Yes, it is. Um, it is silver. Oh, the what are what brand is it? Um, oh, the Hero patches. Those are the ones that I use. Sometimes I use the star patches, but I feel like they're not as good, at least for me. They're just, like, aesthetically cute looking, but I feel like they never stick to my face that well. The other ones, like, hold on for dear life. Like, those do not fall off. Um, okay, so this was the coach. What, what was it called again, Vietnam? What was the name? The Swagger. This is our Coach Swagger. This is in a light blue uh, pebbled leather. And then it has brown handles. Um, the handles, the edge coating is kind of coming off a little bit. It's still attached, but it's starting to come off. And it's cracking in a couple of spots um, on the handle. Otherwise, though, the handles are not bad. They do have some darkening to the leather. But nothing is, like, really too obvious. Uh, it's missing the crossbody strap. Though, it would be kind of cute to, like, do, like, a cool chain one or, like, a fun guitar strap. And the interior is actually in this mustard yellow. The interior leather trim is mustard yellow, and so is the fabric lining and the interior. Uh, there are some pen marks there are some stains on the inside so it's gonna need a good cleaning but this is gonna be an as is bag there's a zipper pocket inside of there and then looks like uh two open pockets on the other side and a little pen pocket also veronica at target and there's the bottom it does have little feet and there's the back kirsten they're the best right I actually, oh, I, I, I bought, I bought a pack from Anthropology like during Christmas time and I lost my box and I found it this morning. So I'm very excited. I was like, ah, oh, I'm running out. And then I found the box of them. So they're like, I have like a fresh box. So I'm very happy. Oh, and also if you guys go to Anthropology to buy them, the pimple patches actually come in two different sizes in the box, which is pretty cool. And, um... It, when they have sales, they will also go on sale. They'll go like 30% off. So try to buy them at Anthropology during the sale. You'll get like a really good deal. Anyway, so that's this. Um, what number is this, Vader? 18, 19. 19. Okay, so how much are I doing this for? Wait, Coach Writer? Blue coach writer um, with brown handles and a mustard interior as is. And we're going to do this one for $40. Um, it has gunmetal hardware too. And that's number 19 for $40 doll hairs. Yes. $40 doll hairs. It's honestly like not in like the exterior is not in too bad condition. Um, oh, I didn't show you guys the... It does have, like, some rubbing on the corners, too. Um, it's just the interior that has... Did I put Ryder again? I meant the... Vadrian! What is it? It's okay. You guys know what it is. <laughs> oh, Kathleen's calling it. Congratulations, Kathleen. I'm a hot mess. Congratulations. It's one of those nights. Okay, up next. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, let's do... Oh, this one's a good one. I really want to, like, fix this one up, though. Before I show it. I'll wait. I want to fix this one up, because I know I can get this to look so good. Um, shall I do one of my many Mark Jacobs bags? These are so pretty. I'm really excited about these. Um, okay, you guys. I got a bunch. And by a bunch, I mean three. So I guess it's not really a bunch. A trio. They are triplets. 
So I have triplets right here um, of these Marc Jacobs. I believe these are called the Marc Jacobs Singles is the name of the style. I think these retailed for about $800 to $900. I think the snakeskin ones are actually like the $900 ones. They're a little bit more expensive. Um, but they're so cute. Um, they're all like the same style. They just have a couple different things with them. Um, the, well, the two snake ones are exactly the same, uh, except for the color. And then this one, this is the original style that has this um, hardware on it. Uh, this is going to be, I guess, number 29. All right, Kathleen. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Okay, so um, this is in a metallic lavender colored lambskin leather. Beautiful quilting. Has the gold chain. It's a great little shoulder bag. Like that. And then you can attach a crossbody strap to this if you wanted. It'd be really nice to do just like a nice like gold chain. And then you can wear this crossbody. Um, Mom actually has this bag in just like the plain black. Um, and that's like one of our favorite bags. Um, interior. When you open it up, there's a open pocket right here. And then there's a zipper pocket behind it. Interior is nice and clean. Just has black fabric lining. And there's a little zipper pocket back there. Um, the exterior of this bag is in pretty great shape. I think they're just very minimal, like, rubbing on the corners. Like, it is so... It's, like, a really small amount. Honestly, it's, like, barely any rubbing at all. Um, whoever had this bag just took really good care of it. Um, this is going to be uh, number 20. Oh, do you, Kirsten? That's awesome. Yeah, these bags are so nice. The mini ones were the ones that were like the crossbody version, right? They had a longer strap. Um, so this is number 20. This is our metallic purple uh, Mark Jacobs. Oh, these are also um, Mark Jacobs collection bags. So these were made in Italy. Um, but yeah. Metallic purple Mark Jacobs single bag with gold or well, antique I guess it's like antique press hardware and this one we're gonna do for let's do this one for what Vedrin okay we're do this one for 125 and that's gonna be item number 20 such a Gorgeous bag. Beautiful. Um, and then the other two are just going to be a little bit more expensive because they were just a little bit more expensive at the store. Um, we're going to do those will be like 140. So that'll be 21 is going to be... Right, Hipatia? They're just really great bags. Oh, Hipatia's calling number 20. Congratulations, Hipatia. Yay! My granddaughter would love it if I had a purple. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, Linda. That would be so cute. Aw, she would be so excited. Okay, congratulations, Hipatia. Number 20 is going to you. And then the other two are just going to be a little bit more expensive. Um, so we're going to do the black one first. It's going to be the black snake skin one. Our black Mark, black Mark Jacobs, uh, quilted single bag in black snake. Um, these though are just embossed. So they're not like actual snake skin, which is actually kind of better. Um, Make with antique brass hardware. And these were going to be 140. So that one's number 21 for 140. And then 22 is also going to be 140. That's going to be the purple snake skin. Right there. So that's number. Oh, no, I forgot to change um, the number. Sorry. 
Okay, sorry about that. Disregard that other number 20, the extra 21. Um, also, the insides of these are, they're, like, they're pretty much identical. Um, except the, these other ones have, like, a gray, taupey lining instead. But they have all the same, like, compartments. Yeah, so they're all in really great shape. Um, the corners are in good shape as well for all three. And, yeah. This one's so cute. Okay, so, yeah. These are 20, 21 and then 22. Okay. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Any larger... Bags. Um, oh, I do have a larger bag. Hold on. Let me show that one next. Okay, so it's 23. You have three black MG bags. <laughs> okay, so these are these. Right there. Um, oh, here's a larger bag. So this one is a... Kate Spade. Oh, Norma's calling 22. Congratulations, Norma. Yay, that's our purple one. She's a beauty. Such a fun pop of color. Uh, let me mark that one. Okay. So we still have the black one, if anyone's interested. That black one. Okay. Um, this is our Kate Spade. I'm going to have to move up a little bit so you can see this. Night Tosh! Okay. Um, this one is a, a, a large Kate Spade satchel. I love this bag. It's kind of like, um, it's almost like an oversized, like a overnight sized bag. There you go. I really like these long handles. You can carry it on your shoulder like this. Um, the top folds down like that. Uh, so that way you can actually fit like so much inside of here. It has this um, zipper across the top and this also goes all the way into the bag. So like I can literally like put my whole arm inside of this bag. It's really big actually. Um, it does also have a crossbody strap. It's not adjustable, but it is removable. And this is the length. So it hits me right at my hip um, when I crossbody it. And it's just black leather, light gold hardware. Um, the exterior is in pretty good shape. It's just very squishy. The leather is really soft. Um, there's like minor rubbing on the corners. I will also touch up the corners on this. It'll just take a second to do that too. Even maybe conditioner will just get it back to how it was. Um, the interior does have some like minor discoloration, but it's kind of hard to see with the print. But it just has like minor marks in the interior. There's a zipper pocket in the back. And then there's two open pockets on the other side. And then don't forget there is like that really big zipper compartment that's built into the top flap. And this goes all the way into the bag. And it has, uh, this is magnetic, like the snap on top. Okay, so this is item number 23. Mm, we could fit our dogs, <laughs> right? Okay, uh, this is our black, large, Kate Spade, um, uh, fold over top satchel with light gold hardware. Oh, it will definitely fit a laptop. Um, where is my iPad? Here she is. Yeah, it will definitely, it'll definitely fit, um, 13 inch 
MacBook Pro for sure. Will it fit a 15 inch? Oh yeah, a 15 inch will fit inside too. I have a 15 inch laptop that'll fit inside of here also. So up to a 15 inch laptop will fit inside of here. How much is this one, Vedering? Okay, we're gonna do this one for $75. That's gonna be item number 23. It'll fit both. It probably might, if the if you're talking about those ti your tiny little dogs, it'll probably, you could probably fit like a litter of those dogs inside of here. How many is in a litter? Is it like 12? Oh, it's not a dozen, but how many is in a litter of puppies? Or is that just like what puppies are called when there's a bunch of them being born? Never mind, it's not a number. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, is a, how many is a litter of puppies? Wait, if there's only one puppy that's born, is that still a litter? Interesting. Is a litter plural? What's a singular for a litter? It would be really good for like a travel bag for sure to carry on the plane. All right. Our net no, she's always, she really wants that um that Emily Wallace tote that I gave her. And oh, Anne's calling it! Congratulations, Anne! Number twenty three is going to you. You're getting all of the bigger bags tonight. Look at you. This one is so cute, though. Uh, Veronica, it just has some of like discoloration. I tried to show you guys in the interior. Okay, up next, we got... Here in the multicolor player B I bought from you. <gasps> oh, Linda, I love that bag. I'm actually so glad that you bought it. It's so beautiful. I really love, like, that... You got the one that was, like, that tote bag, right? I think it's called the Simple Tote. Oh, d is that is that what it is, Kathleen? I don't know. <laughs> okay, up next... Uh, is 24. Oh, I got a wallet. Okay, let me do this one. Let me do, um, have a little wallet. And this one is an All Saints. Hold on, let me just clean this off because I think this is just a little dirty. I love the color on this one because it's like this really pretty, oh yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, that's looking good get the other side there's like a little oh yeah okay this oh now it looks really good i knew those marks would come out why did i think there was an earthquake right now you know the other night there was an earthquake and i didn't feel it and my mom was like are you awake did you feel the earthquake and i was like there was an earthquake <laughs> and she was like yeah did you feel it and i was like no <laughs> i was like sitting on the floor um this is an all saints little zip card case coin pouch wallet it's in this metallic patent leather it's really pretty brushed silver hardware we have four card slots right there um this is what it looks like there's like some really light marks on it but otherwise it's in pretty good shape there's the back and then when you zip it open um it just has a black fabric lining it's nice and clean inside of there, actually. It's in good shape inside of there, too. And this is... Oh, that's nice of you, Anne. Um, uh, Marjorie, if you want that long chomp, Anne says that you can have it. So if you're still thinking about it. But this is number 24. This is our metallic silver patent All Saints... Um, card zip change wallet with light silver. Oh, pewter! Thank you, Hypatia. Okay, congratulations, Marjorie, then. It's going to you. Anne's going to get the other one. <claps> Yay! Everyone's happy. Congratulations. Okay, let me mark that one for Marjorie. Okay, and how much was the wallet, Vadrian? Okay, this wallet's going to be $40. That's going to be item number 24. 
Oh, I didn't change it to pewter. Yeah, you guys know the color. It's like a silver. Silver pewter color. Okay. That's this guy right here. That's number 24. And then... Oh, Linda called it first. I'm sorry, Don. Congratulations, Linda. This guy's going to you. All right. Up next... We got... Oh, am I selling this wallet? Hi, Ariella. How are you? Okay. Uh, 25 is next. It's the black one with the gold studs. Grommets. No. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I do like this one. It's really cool. Okay, sorry, you guys. We're hoarding this one. <laughs> I'm like, should I show the keychain? No, because I want to hoard the keychain, too. <laughs> oh. Oh, for her birthday. No, she wants a bag, though. <laughs> uh, it'll go with the bag. I, I still need to find a bag. You guys, I also need money to buy my mom a bag for her birthday. <laughs> Ew, why, why am I going to be spending so much money around the same time? Um, why is this Loewe thing happening right now? I was, like, not prepared for it. I should have known ahead of time, so I wouldn't have bought so many things. But it's okay. <gasps> Ooh, I also have this, but I'm not going to show this either because this is also mine. <laughs> okay, I'll show you guys. Um, this is the little... Okay, so I don't think it's actually, like, a keychain. Keychain? Like, I don't... I'm not sure if it came like this um, or if it came off of, like, an actual bag. But I know that the, that it is authentic. Um, but... It's the little Dior letters right here. And it's like gold. And they put it on a little keychain. I'm, I don't think, I, I don't know. I don't know if they actually made these, but I know the letters are like, are real. Um, and then I love like the little leather piece underneath because it's like in a Tiffany blue color. So yeah, I was going to keep it for myself or give it to mom for her birthday because she really wants a Dior bag for her birthday and I have not found one yet and her birthday is on the 25th. Um, I'm trying to look for either a Lady Dior bag or the, um, the, what is it called? Um, that tote bag. That name is escaping me right now. What is it called? Isn't it so cute? It's just so cute. And it was only 28 bucks. <laughs> so it was really cheap. But yeah, isn't it so adorable? So fun. Okay, so there's that one. And then... Oh, let's do this. I was gonna... Put this on Peanut. But he's just, like, too furry. Like, it wouldn't even matter. You wouldn't even see it. And then Eliza. I feel like this is too big for her neck. She would just, like, yeah. So. But this is a little coach dog collar. And it has, like, a little whistle on it on the end. Which I think is so cute. So it's just, like, a black um, leather dog collar. Right there, it has silver hardware, then it has, like, the black whistle. Yeah, the book tote. Yeah, I'm looking for the La a Lady Dior or the Dior book tote, specifically in the navy blue, like, oblique. Like, the like the regular colorway that's, like, the blue and cream with like, the new Dior spell out. Um, that's, uh, those are the two bags that, like, I'm looking for, so. 
it's like her... Uh, she doesn't mind if I tell you guys. She's going to be 65. So it's a big birthday. So I want to get her something really good. And I know those are like the two bags that she would really love. So I'm trying to track one down in time for her birthday. But it's been really hard. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what size. I don't. Does it have a size? I can like measure it. Um, so if anyone's interested in this for their dog, she does something latte. Who's going to ignore you, Veronica? This is 16 inches from like the end to like the last hole. So it's like a 16 inch circumference. I don't know. I, I if it's just a good price, I guess. <laughs> I guess it depends on um, the color and for like the Lady Dior, like she probably wants I, I think she just like wants like a black Lady Dior. Um or maybe like a tan. Um hardware color doesn't really matter. But it needs to be the one that has like the long strap. Probably like the size small or medium. Oh, the I feel like the large one is too big. What color was it, Anne? I feel like 1600 is actually a pretty good price. Is it like an older style Lady Dior or was it like the newer one? Ooh, black with gold hardware. That's kind of nice. Okay, Anne. I'm going to have to look. I wonder if it, is, I wonder if it, did it sell or was it still available? So the dog can whistle in case. <laughs> But yeah, isn't it so cute? Okay, anyway. Um, what happened? Okay, so this is item number 25. This is our black coach dog collar. Oh, man, and You don't happen to have a snapshot of it, do you? I'm going to have to, like, stock J-Ports. <gasps> Can you, Anne? If you could ask them to send photos, I, I want to see it. I just feel like um, she wanted like a smaller size, like either a smaller or medium. Um, 16 inch circumference and with black whistle and silver hardware. How much is this one? Okay, we're doing this. Or how much? Okay, this is $55. And that'll be number 25. I know, Kirsten. I really want to go to Japan. <laughs> I was supposed to go in 2020, but you already know what happened then, so I never got to go. And I haven't left the country since 2019, so... Hopefully sometime soon I'll be able to travel over there. But yeah, it's in really good shape, like minor marks on the hardware and the whistle. 16-inch um, circumference, and... I don't think this will fit me. I was like, <laughs> would I be able to wear this thing? No. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm joking. Okay, if I was dying, I could wear this. Okay. Um. This is gonna be. No, that's twenty five. So then twenty six is up next. And what do we have? Oh. Oh, let's see this one. Okay, this is, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to 30 tonight. Okay, this is a Dooney and Burke tote bag. 
And this is a canvas, and it's printed with a field of sunflowers. It's really, really pretty. Thank you, Anne. You're the best. And... <laughs> you know, it's just, like, decorative. Maybe the whistle is for the owner to use on the dog. And you wear it around your neck. I don't know. I have no clue. Um, this, the bottom is in brown suede, uh, which is in pretty decent condition. It has minor rubbing on the corners. Um, the top handles and the trim are in Vachetta. The Vachetta is in pretty good shape. It has minimal discoloration right there. Um, the back has a zipper. Yes, Kathleen, I will. I don't know, Veronica hasn't been receiving my emails for some reason. Veronica, did you block me from your emails? My emails keep getting sent back to me. And I email both of your emails. Okay. Um, oh, it still has the original tag inside. This retailed for $195. There is this one zipper pocket on this side. Veronica, I told you earlier that I was going to message you back when you asked the first time. There's a mark that's right there. And there's a pocket. It still has a little registration card inside. On the other side, there's a phone pocket. And then the middle zipper pocket. The interior is in pretty good shape. I think these are just lint marks. Yeah, that's just lint. Um... I think this is the only mark right there, but I think it's actually just like residue from that sticker that they some that they put inside the bag. Um, so I think that'll just come out, but there is just that mark right inside of there. The canvas on the exterior is in pretty good shape. I don't see any marks on it at all. So I'm kidding, Veronica. It's just because my emails keep getting sent back to me. Okay, uh, this is number 26. This is our Dooney and Burke Sunflower Printed Canvas Tote Bag with suede bottom and what is this? Fachetta. Fachetta handles and trim. And how much are we doing this one for, Vedrin? Perfect snack bag. Oh, what did you say? Okay. Uh, we're going to do this one for $75. And that's going to be item number 26. This is such a fun, like, spring, summer bag. <gasps> Could you imagine taking this bag to, like, Tuscany? I feel like it's, like, a Tuscany bag. Do you guys, um, do you guys ever watch that movie? Um, oh, what was it called? Something Tuscany. No. And it had, like, um, Under the Tuscan Sun. That's it. Uh, my mom and I, we love that movie. We just watched it, like, not too long ago. And it's still just as good as it was the first time we watched it. It never gets old. Okay, 27 is up next. Um, Veronica, I already told you about that. Like... We we already discussed the those I, I about that um about your items that I had to cancel, so I don't know if you were able to read those emails. Yeah, under the Tuscan scan is really really good. Okay, so that's this bag, and then up next I have we got twenty seven. And let's do... Well, I'm sad that Ariella is sad. I don't want that, but... Well, I haven't had the fries chat in a long time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, she went... Um, well, she wasn't looking for love, but she moved there 
because she was on like a rich, like she was on like a trip and she like fell in love with this villa and then she just like bought it on the spot and she was like a writer or something right anyway this is number 27 actually it was today <laughs> I had french fries today because I had Wendy's and it was really, really good. You guys know I can't, I can't not have french fries. Like, I, I can be on a diet, but I still have to have french fries every once in a while because they are my favorite. But this is our next item. This is a super cute Tory Burch. I always forget the name of this style. Um... I can't remember. But... It's in this, like, black and, like, cream white gingham print. And this is in canvas. And then it has brown leather trim. And then it has brushed gold hardware. Oh, the Lee Radziwill, I think, is what it's called. Yeah. The Lee Radziwill, like, mini tote. So this is the size that's perfect for your cell phone. So the phone fits exactly exactly like right at the top inside of there which is fantastic um i think this bag retails for like i want to say like 500 600 dollars these bags are really expensive um this one is in really really great condition and it has this is actually a little front pocket so you can undo this and there's a pocket right there in the front and there also is another pocket in the back. And the middle is the main compartment. And it actually, these are actually like little snaps that are inside of there. So those will snap the top closed. And it just has two middle compartments separated with this um, piece of fabric. And then there's three built-in card slots. Two built-in card slots in the back. But yeah, this is in like new condition. I just don't have a dust bag for this one, um, but it's beautiful. Oh, five ninety eight. Thanks, Tara. Yeah, these these little guys are super expensive, and but they're so cute. I really I don't know if you guys ever saw. Um, they just did a campaign for it, I think. But um, this bag, but it's the larger size, and it has like pockets on the front. It's so cute. But the top handle um, is. Not removable, but the crossbody strap is. And it's also adjustable as well. And yeah, so this is canvas. So it's untreated, it's uncoated. So it's just regular fabric. And this is going to be item number 27. Okay, so this is our Cory Birch Lee Radzi Well Mini Satchel in cream and black gingham with tan leather trim and brushed gold hardware. And this one's gonna be $300. I know it's a little expensive, but yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be item number 27. And then 28 is up next. I got the needles. <gasps> oh! Wait, which one? What color is Meadow Sweet? Is that like that green color or is it like a... Is it like a pink? Green or pink? I really still want... Um, the... Remember that other Lee Redzibel that I had before? It was like that little mini one. I want that bag, but in... There's like a mustard color. And in the size, like a size up. That would like, like that's like a little bit bigger than the one that I had. That one was so cute. Okay, um, twenty eight is up next. Oh, okay, yeah, the pink. I I I knew I was like either the green or like that pink color. That color is really really pretty. This bag is so cute. I still can't believe I found that bag because I've never found that style bag before, like consignment or anywhere like that. I've only ever, ever seen it, I've ever only seen it like online being resold and they're always like super duper expensive. 
No, but that was a different style. It's this is like the mini. This is like the tote. The, the one you're talking about is the one we had originally. Yeah, it was that style. Okay, up next. Oh, this one is so cute. Is this kind of like the color Tara? Like that pink. Um, this is a Tribeca bag um, by Joy Grison, I think. And I haven't into a Wendy's Frosty, but I had in like the McDonald's, the McDonald's um, ice cream. No, it's that Mc. Oh no, Chick Fil A! I had the I've dipped the waffle fries in the ice cream at Chick Fil A. That's really good. But I've only ever done it at McDonald's. Also, like McDonald's and Wendy's or Chick Fil A. Um, there are like some marks like along the front, but right? there's just some like some like light scratches. Uh, it has brass hardware. Super cute. It's kind of like a lunchbox kind of style bag. There also is a back pocket right here. It's kind of tight, so it's not going to fit your cell phone, uh, unfortunately. It has a top handle. A crossbody strap is adjustable, but it's not removable. There's no feet on the bottom. This is like a really smooth, like, rigid leather. Oh, a peachy pink. Okay. You guys are making me hungry. I haven't had dinner yet. I literally just came home and did this. My mom, um... She bought... Oh, she went with my dad to, like, an Indian restaurant today. And they brought home this lamb biryani. And I cannot wait to try it. It just... I looked at it before I started the live. And I was, like, staring at it longingly. And I was like, I gotta go. So, I just left it on the counter. Here's the interior. It's, uh... Unlined. So, this is just in suede. There's no pockets. For some reason, like, they wrote inside... If this isn't even from the Goodwill. But... Um, I actually have a feeling, like, I think this actually came from Nordstrom, um, uh, but, like, the, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Last Chance, um, it's where they send all of the Nordstrom returns that they can't resale inside the store, and they send it over there. This looks suspiciously like the Nordstrom writing. I'm very familiar with it, because I have been to that store a bunch of times when my sister used to live in Arizona, and we would visit all the time, and we would always go to last chance before and after we left her house so like before we went to see them we would go to last chance and then when we left we would go to last chance first and then drive back home so those were the good old days but it's super cute it was two hundred dollars at last chance it was like 187 uh this is our pink uh tribeca Yeah. Oh, last chance. It was last... Wait, was it last call? Was it last... I thought it was called last chance. Anyway, it was last something. And they had this really good soup and sandwich, like, restaurant right in front. And we would always go there, too. It was so delicious. Um, pink Tribeca satchel with brass hardware. I know, Kirsten, it's awful. Isn't it so fun? I love that place. I haven't been back in years, ever since my sister moved back to California. Um, we're going to do this one for $45. Huh? Yeah, Jill, right? Have you gotten anything really cool? I heard that, like, they had gotten, like, a little crazy over there. Because before, um, you could buy, like, whatever you wanted, really. But, like, now, like, they limit you, like... You can only buy one handbag per person, like, per day or something. Like, I know a lot of resellers go there. I know a lot of resellers that go there, too. Oh, Roseanne. Oh, called it first. Oh, it was Purse Curator. Oh, my goodness. A lot of you guys like this bag. Congratulations, Purse Curator. This one is going to you. Congrats. All right. So, there's that one. And then up next, we got 29. Linda, I don't know about merch. Maybe uh, I should get my sister to do it, but she never has any time to do it because my sister's really good at drawing. And I'm too lazy to do it. I don't have enough time. 
Oh, P.S. I'm going to have a collab post with um, Goodwill that's coming out on Monday. So you guys got to keep an eye out for it. I had to make a reel. It was so hard. <laughs> I haven't made a reel in so long. <clears throat> okay, let's continue. Hmm? Oh, you sent a picture on Instagram. I want to see it. Hold on, let me take a look. Let's see. Inst oh, I'm gonna ask John to walk the dogs. <gasps> what time is it? Oh my gosh. Okay, I text John. He's gonna be like, "What?" Okay. Let's see. Wait, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's so pretty. Is the yellow, is the interior yellow? Hold on. Okay. Let me pop this onto the screen so you guys can see it. That is so pretty. It's so cute. I love the colors. I think the inside looks like it's like a, uh, like a pale yellow color. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Kirsten, are you? <gasps> Stop. That bag is so cute, though. Congratulations. <laughs> sure, this says we got a jumper. <laughs> But that, that bag is so cute. I love the colors. Okay. Um, yeah, Tara, it's so pretty. Uh, 29. Oh, Lady Badger. I can do like a quick recap at the very end for you. Before we end the live. And I'll show you what we have left. Um, oh, there's this. Okay, this one is a... Vintage um, Juicy Couture bag. And it's, I think this is navy? Is it navy? Yeah. Okay, so it's in navy. Uh, I don't know if this is like a Juicy Couture scarf. Okay, yeah. So this is a navy vintage Juicy Couture um, leather bag. And it also come it'll come with the juicy couture scarf as well. So it's a little juicy couture scarf. Um, it has antique brass hardware. It does have little feet on the bottom as well as a back pocket. And then interior is in this bright cobalt blue fabric lining. And there's a zipper pocket right there, and then two open pockets on the other side. Um, the bag is in pretty good shape. It has um, like minimal rubbing, like on the corners. It's right there. A picture of a doll with money for hair, <laughs> Marjorie. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my gosh, that's a deal, Tara. I'm jealous. <laughs> doll hairs. Oh my gosh. You guys have such good ideas. Okay, this is our Navy Juicy Couture um, shoulder bag with antique brass hardware and scarf. The, ju the scarf is also Juicy Couture, too. Um, how much is this one going to be featuring? Oh, it does have, like, the Juicy logo. It's, like, debuzzed on the front. That's, like, the vocabulary word of the evening. Oh, yeah, what did you say, Vader? Okay, we're going to do this one for 45 doll hairs. 45 doll hairs. Number 29. All right. And then... Oh, wait, that one's... See, I, I am doing a really bad job of keeping up with... Um... Oh, Lady Badger called it. Congratulations, Lady Badger. <coughs> this one's going to you. Who got the Tribeca? Ah, uh, press carrier. 
I think I'm keeping track too, because I, I am doing a really bad job of keeping up. Congratulations! You're not old. Okay. Um, ooh, is this our last item? Number 30? Okay. Number 30. Oh, I just... Um, I still do have the red Chanel walk from yesterday, too. I'm not going to make that number 30, but that one is still available also. And... The wallet as well. Okay, uh, for our last item for the evening, let's do, what should I do, Adrian? Do I still have anything left that's really cool? Did I miss on showing anything really awesome? Oh, wait, let's do this. Ah! I know, I almost knocked over my light. Okay, um, last item is, this is a black... Tory Birch um, hobo shoulder bag. So this is just in black pebbled leather. And then the Tory Birch logo is actually like cut out and then like sewn in also. So like quilted in. It's really cool the way that they did that. Uh, it has these knotted details on the like at uh, that attach the shoulder straps to the bag. And then when you open it up just looks like this. So it has magnetic snaps across the top and there's a middle zipper dividing pocket. There's three pockets on one side, a zipper on the other, and then middle zipper pocket right there. It's nice and clean inside and out. It's in pretty great shape. Um, minimal rubbing on the corners, which I will also touch up before we send that out. So that's an easy fix. And it has light gold hardware. And this one sits really nicely on your shoulder. Just like that. Okay. And this is our black Tory Burch um, hobo shoulder bag with gold hardware. Hi, Elena. How are you? No, we haven't shown this one yet. Okay, we're going to do this one for, um, let's do, wait, what do you say? Yeah, let's just do 95. We'll keep it under 100. Um, 95 for number 30. And that's our last item for the evening. Uh, thanks, Anne. I'm glad you got something. That Kate Spade was awesome. But yeah, super cute. The leather is super soft on this one, too. All right, so let's do a quick recap um, for our remaining items. Um, I'm not selling these anymore, so we're going to take these out. But <laughs> if any of you guys have run into me, which I have run into a lot of you guys recently, um, I'm probably going to be wearing those. <laughs> So I can reach the tall shelves at the thrift store. Uh, we still have the... <laughs> we have the St. Laurent uh, zipper pouch. And this is in black caviar leather. Uh, we have our Balenciaga satchel that I'm also probably going to be keeping now. Because no one bought it. And it's really, really cute. Then we also have our coach dog tag. Um... We have our Tory Birch. This is like that Lee Radziwill mini satchel. Kate Spade little crossbody bag. We have our Dooney and Burke Under the Tuscan Sun Sunflower tote bag. How long have I known you, Vadrian? We still have this um, Marc Jacobs collection shoulder bag and the embossed snake skin. Uh, we have this I feel like it's forever. <laughs> Too long. 
How old is Peanut? <laughs> As old as Peanut is. <laughs> How old Peanut is. <laughs> is that long? Um, black rag and bone backpack. And then we have the rag and bone cross body. <laughs> Kirsten. Um, Fendi little card key case. Uh, this black wig bag. Honestly, I would wear this as hair. It's not 12 years, Vadrian. That is not how old Peanut is. Coach. Uh, we got the Kate Spade camera. And then we have this coach as well. Oh, sorry, Lady Badge, which one were you asking for? I'm sorry. And then um, the Tory Burch wallet. The wig bag of oh, Vadrian. How much was the wig bag? Oh. <laughs> Not the wig. It's actually UGG. It's an UGG bag. And this is um, like Mongolian like lamb for It's $65. It's really fun. This is like... I think this is probably my favorite. Other than the Balenciaga, this is like my favorite bag of the evening. I'm actually going to show this to Elizo in the morning when he wakes up. I'm going to be like, Elizo, this bag is made out of your hair. And he's going to be like, no, it's not! And I'll be like, yeah, it is. Look at it. Feel it. Uh, the Marc Jacobs bag was 140 That was the black... Uh, the black snake... and This is snake embossed. Um, leather, and it has gold hardware. So this one is 140 Marc Jacobs Collection. Oh yeah, you do love Marc Jacobs Collection bags, Lady Badger. This is Marc Jacobs Collection. And that was item number um, 22? 21. 21. Yeah, that was number 21. Yeah. Marc <laughs> Of course, everything comes with green onions. Um, uh, it's quilted. It has gold hardware. There's like this brass hardware. Uh, yes, Anne. It has a front pocket and then zipper compartment, and then one zipper pocket in the back. And it just has gray lining. It's in pretty great shape. Oh, all right, Lady Badger's calling twenty one. Congratulations, Lady Badger. This one's going to you. And then, Anne, I'll show you your bag right now. Let me uh, maneuver myself. No. It doesn't really have a finish, though, on it. Right? Like, because it's, it's, like, almost like a suede kind of feel. So you can just go on it. Um, here you go, Anne. Are you going to get a thumb a, a, a photo? Let me move my face out of it. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Um, all right, so that's that's it. If anyone has any questions about anything, though, let me know. Oh, let me leave the link. I'm sorry, Tara. I forgot that link for you. I mean that the wig bag is still available if anyone wants it. It's really cute. You're welcome, Anne. There's that link. The giveaway question is, what's your favorite day to go thrifting? Mine, Saturday and Sunday, just because those are the only days I have, really, to go thrifting. But I would love to go every day of the week. Um, I know what day the worst day to go thrifting kind of is, is probably on Mondays, especially in the morning. Because weekends are when thrift stores are the craziest. And if you go in the morning, they haven't had a chance to restock yet. So... Probably Mondays are like the days that I Monday is I usually don't go thrifting at all on Mondays. Um, gotta recover from the weekend. <laughs> Yay, and I'm glad you like it. I'm very excited for you to get it too. Okay, uh, that is it for the night though, but let's do our giveaway. And we're giving away this super cute Twilly. I got it from the Philippines. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Landmark. 
<laughs> in the Philippines. It's kind of like a department store. So it's kind of like a Macy's. But this is our giveaway for the evening. And... Oh, Kirsten. I was thinking, like, putting... Like, doesn't that, like, look super cute? Now it's like a little soot sprite that's going out on a hot date. It even has little jewels on its eyes. Oh, they closed them so late, Hippate. You're so lucky. They closed them so early here. Yeah, I feel like some of the stores closed, like, later, before. But, like, ever since COVID, they've been closing, like, I feel like 8th latest. Purse curator, let's do it! <laughs> Message me so we can figure out a date. Um. Oh, yay, Marjorie! Yeah, that bag is so cute, and thank you again for letting um Marjorie get that bag. It's really pretty. She has a really good collection going, too. Oh, right, Kirsten? Yeah, they're cracking me up. Okay. All right. Are we going to pick the winner now? Wait, do we have to wait? Should we do it before Valentine's Day so that way people can get their bags by Valentine's Day and use it? Or I don't know. All right, we're going to pick the winner in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. All right, congratulations to Norma. Norma, you won any day when I have time. Actually, that is true. Any day is a good day to go thrifting. You can, you never know what you're going to find. Even on a Monday, you can find something amazing. So just got to be at the right place at the right time. Congratulations, Norma. You are the winner of our Twilly. So I will send this over to you along with your items. And yeah, oh, don't forget you guys too, I am doing a live with V, that's Tell Your Friend Sportswear, and that is this coming Friday, so I'm going to have that scheduled, um, I think it's at 8pm, so that's, that will be this coming Friday, and then I'm going to have a sale on Monday and Tuesday as well, because I need some funds for Loewe, because I spent too much money again today, of course, that always happens to me, it's so bad. Um, but yeah, if you're watching this video after the live is already over too, check the uh, check the description box down below. Items availability and pricing will be there. Um, good night, Veronica. Good night, Michelle. Purse curator, Lady Badger, Jocelyn, Kirsten, Kathleen, Tara, Hippatia, and Linda, uh, Rosanna, uh, Lady Badger, Marjorie, Pauline. And anyone else, I didn't mention your name, I'm so sorry, but I had so much fun with you guys tonight, um, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Alright, good night guys, have a good Sunday, bye!